My name is Leo. I'm the founder of Protenga. We are an insect farming company and developing what we call data-driven insect tech. We started the company in 2016 in Singapore and I've opened and shifted our operations and our business to Malaysia last year, early last year. I've been operating our farm and, and selling our products since, still an R&D level and are now scaling up our production to commercial pilot. The core idea behind Protenga is that we're using a natural process. You're using agricultural waste products, byproducts from the food manufacturing industry. We use that as a feedstock for feeding insects in a controlled, intensive vertical farming environment. The insects consume the feedstock, extract and concentrate the nutrients, and at the same time decompose the food waste that we take in. Uh, we then separate and harvest the two and process the insects into a, a high protein uh, feed uh, meal, feed powder for the animal feed industry and the decomposed food matter into a organic fertilizer for nurseries, for organic farming, etc. So the main product is the insect larvae, the insect meal. We manufacture pet food products from it for cat food, for ornamental fish, for birds, and also commercial feed for aquaculture, livestock feeds, etc. Um, the mission and whole objective behind this exercise is to create more sustainable and local feed to power a better food production, a better food system. Well, at Protenga, we develop data-driven insect tech for sustainable feed. I think I've always been interested in kind of the, the food system, organic food safety um, from, from young on um, exposed to, to, to such question. I'm kind of a curious mind. I'm more from a software and, and data background, so that's the angle that I looked at it. But um, my co-founder, um, who, who came more with a biology background, kind of approached me with the idea and said, what do you think about it? That not much, but let me think about it. And I did, and I read up on it, and I got quite excited about it, and we both did. And um, so we said, let's let's make this happen. This is something that should be done. We thought we have some angles that were unique to it, uh, that we could do it better than others, or different from others, and uh, so we did. Well, we were running late, right? This should have been 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Kind of, it's like on a bigger level, climate change, we're catching up on, on really trying to make an impact on a industrial food system which is highly unsustainable, which is very destructive to our environment, which is causing health problem, problems, sickness, obesity, diabetes to humans. So th this is kind of the bigger picture in, in, in which we are operating. So why, why now is because it's urgent time to um, change how we feed the animals that we consume. Currently we are relying a lot on fish meals which are imported, on soy which are imported from North America. So both of those have destructive impact on the environment and overfishing, habitat destruction and soil erosion and deforestation. This is kind of on, on the upstream side why we need to do it as well as on the consumer, on the health side, why we need to provide better and, and healthier food. And that begins with better and healthier feed for those animals that we then consume. What I really love about our team is the diversity of it, both in terms of backgrounds and in terms of nationalities. We have all, I think we have six, seven different nationalities and ethnicities on the team. We have um, a lot of different engineering backgrounds, so quite, quite a good spectrum on, on that side. We have biology, computer science, on the marketing business side. Really, really good uh, spectrum that really cross fields it. Um, very good team spirit. So I think that, that's what's most important to bring the, bring the product and, and, and project forward. Of course, success for us means sustainability. Triple P, uh, you know, people, planet, profit. But uh, really, we need to be in order to be have an impact on on people and planet. We need to show profits. So our our main success me success measure is um, making our setup cost and our operational cost so low that we can actually compete with more traditional products. And so this is kind of the long-term goal. The, we break that down into operational goal, um, engineering goal, clear milestones on our, on our sales. So we've launched our online shop, online portal for retail, for consumers on the pet shop side. We've launched a kind of B2B portal for our farm customers. We have to now uh, get 
hit our revenue targets that we've set for the next couple of months, fueled by marketing. So we've, we've set clear milestones on that. But more importantly, the next big milestone is to move to our uh, next production facility and bring our production to uh, a target of 40 tons a month for that pilot. Um, 40 tons of larvae of insects um, and then from there scale in a distributed manner. So those are the next development steps. This is such a vast problem, there is no one solution. And any, anyone who, who says differently uh, yeah, should probably not be taken that seriously. It's a vast problem, right? The, 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 the numbers are just mind-boggling. So um, we want to have an impact on them, we want to contribute to this field that drives a more sustainable um, food system. Um, I think we're on a track to that, but it starts from the communities you're operating in and then expands in, in circles from there. Um, to direct human needs, for direct human consumption, um, I think it will come, but I don't think that's something that's really as a market ready yet. It requires a lot of education, a lot of change of uh, perception that just takes time, so that's not really our focus. But in terms of production, protein production, we see quite a lot of interest. Also in Malaysia, uh, when we talk with people, suppliers even, um, about what we do, surprisingly often we get us, you know, we have some land, can we do this? Like, how, how can we build such a farm? Um, so yeah, I think that there's an increasing interest in this space. So customer focus is paramount for the third part of our uh, business model in, in bringing our products to their best use. So we can say we have a protein powder and we can sell it as protein powder, but that would really be wasting the potential. There is a lot of story in the product. There is a lot of marketing value. There are a lot of health benefits as well. So you have to work with your customers and understand them. And those can be kind of on the farm level or on the animal level, like the, the species that will actually consume your feed. Um, so it has a nutritional component and it has a business component to it. And really understand where are the best use cases where, where the maximum value can be created. And so we work with farmers directly and that's also what we want to do rather than kind of selling a commodity wholesale, we work with farmers directly to figure out what, what are their pain points that they perceive. Because you go to one farm, you go to another, they will have different pain points they will have different troubles that we can address with a product. And it's the same for, for pet food. So we really, I think, pride ourselves, but also have the ambition to be very close to our customers, work with them on product development, and give them the product that they want. Yeah, it's absolutely important to uh, maximize the value of our product. Well, is it niche? You eat three times a day, and this has to be produced. So it is a emerging field. Ag tech, biotech is an emerging field. The Malaysian government has put this on the agenda kind of in waves on and off and is refocusing this. But also generally Southeast Asia, in Singapore, the investor interest in ag tech solutions is surging rapidly over the last few years and you see more and more investments on all different stages in this space. Sunrise, uh, sunrise space to, to be in. I think for, for anyone with a curious mind it's fantastic because it just brings together different disciplines uh, from tech, data, engineering, you know, physical product, software product to biology. Uh, and it's highly stimulating. Hi, good day. I'm Leo, founder of Pratenga, insect-based nutrition. We built um, data-driven insect tech, that is intensive tech-enabled uh, farms for like soldier flies to produce sustainable animal feed for aquaculture and pet food. We are operating in Johor, Malaysia, as well as in Singapore, to change how we produce feed and fertilizers for healthy food using local, traceable, fresh feed ingredients um, that we manufacture into outstanding pet food products as well as feed products together with our partners. We are now available on yumgrubs.com um, for the cats, dogs and ornamental fish and soon um, to be found also in your supermarkets nearby hopefully. Thank you.